Hello and welcome to this video in which I'll be showing you how to set up a glossary in your Canvas course. The glossary is a really nifty little tool that allows you to highlight key words or concepts and so that wherever they appear in the content of your Canvas course, a definition or helpful information is provided to students. So we're currently in this exemplar course and what if I wanted to have students be able to know what the definition of cooking was or what the definition of pasta was, well then we would use the glossary tool. And so the first step to doing that is to go to pages and to create a new page which needs to be called global glossary. Calling the page global glossary is what allows Canvas to search for the terms that we actually want students to see. Now the next step is to create a formatted word or phrase and then the definition of that and that'll be read. So the first thing that we have to do is put in say pasta and we make that in a heading format. So that means we want it to be highlighted. And then we put a definition which is something like this. And then we'll do another one, maybe cooking. And we need to make sure our concept is set with the heading format and our definition is with the paragraph format. And the great thing about the glossary tools is that it actually works with uh, multiple word phrases as well. So we might try another one, which we'll have as a heading. And we'll put our definition in. So now we have three concepts and three definitions and we've followed our order. So we have our heading, then our paragraph text, heading, then paragraph text. We can save our page. Now we don't need to publish it for students. We don't necessarily want students to be able to see the actual page. We just want them to see the definitions in context. So we'll save our page. And then if we go back to the home, what you will now see is that the concepts that I've written definitions for appear underlined in our text. So you can see for cooking it says the process of preparing food. For pasta, a carbohydrate that is usually made from durum wheat. Or fresh ingredients, things like vegetables and herbs that are not processed or have preservatives. So regardless of you know whether you're in chemistry or whether you're in environmental science or whether you're in design, you can use the glossary tool to highlight the key concepts for students and give them definitions which will help them speed up their learning and really just give them a hand as they go through the Canvas content that you've created for them. So that's all you need to know about setting up the glossary tool. If you have any further questions, make sure you get in touch with us at RMIT Studios on canvas at rmit.edu.au. Thanks for watching.